I've had both sides of it, honestly. When I was a player, I've had I've had, you know, the 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 manager gets ejected and you kind of rally around them and then you go and you play great, right? And I've had the manager gets ejected and it doesn't really make a difference and the game just ends up being what the game was before he got ejected. And so I don't want to read too much into what that says about the team, you know, but for me, what I want to see moving forward and what I want to see, because you, they got to go to Arkansas this weekend. It doesn't get any easier, right? Arkansas's pitching staff is arguably the best in the conference, arguably the best in the nation. And now offensively, they struggle a little bit. They don't, they don't score a ton of runs, Arkansas I'm talking about. And, and uh, you know, so it doesn't get any easier, but what I want to see from this team moving forward is I want to see them, just kind of like bow up in certain situations, right? You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to score 10 runs a game. Just, you know, hey, battle through some counts. If you strike out, but it takes eight pitches to strike out, I'm good with that, right? If, you know, you're able to put some pressure on the defense and put some pressure on the on the, on the pitching staff um, and you're able to, to get some big hits with two outs, I think that's the big thing over the first two weeks of the SEC is you don't feel like you've gotten a lot of the big hits when guys are in scoring position. And that just look that happens in baseball, right? Some sometimes you're very hot doing that. Sometimes you're not. At the end of the year, I think we're going to look up and you're going to see, okay, the numbers are pretty good in that situation. Just right now, they haven't been. And so I want to see them really, you know, gut through some of these at bats and really come through with some big hits. I think once you start seeing a couple of those, you're going to start seeing a whole different style of offense. You can see the guys' confidence just kind of go through the roof. Our right, last one. I, I don't want to hit the. The alarm bells. I'm not that guy, <laughs> but I know what you, what you know. What I'm about to say is the next three series all top ten opponents. So if if you did like these last two weekends and you only get one win a weekend, you're sitting there at five wins and halfway through your F- SEC schedule, then you feasibly would have to win ten of your next fifteen. And so if you're talking about the next three weekends being against top ten opponents, this one against number one. What's the outlook here for LSU? Yeah, you know, it's it's something that, you know, you don't want to look at the big picture, especially right now, because you haven't gotten an SEC win yet, right? You're starting the season off during, through the gauntlet. You did the same thing last year, not losing wins and losses, but as far as playing that top-tier com- competition the first five weekends, you have to focus on Arkansas. It can't be what if we lose this game or what if – you know, we don't win the series or what if we get swept? It can't be, there can't be any what ifs. It can't be, okay, we got Vanderbilt the next weekend. We got a and We got all these teams that we got to play on the horizon. It can't be about that because if it is, then you're going to lose focus on, you know, where you're at this weekend playing against Arkansas. For me, playing this Thursday night game, it's got to be, hey, you know what? We're playing, we have a one game season. It's an elimination game and you got to go out there and you got to figure out a way to win. It doesn't have to look pretty. It doesn't have to be the sexiest looking game. You don't have to score 15 runs and throw a shutout. That doesn't have to happen. But what has to happen is you got to go out there and say, okay, someone's going to step up with a big hit. Our pitching staff is going to continue to do it or do what they are supposed to be doing, what they, what they, they're expected to do. And we're going to rally together and we're going to beat one of the top pitchers in the country. And then you go home and you take it, you fall asleep, you wake up the next day and we go on Friday night and you say, you know what? We got to do it again. Right. And once you start building that, you kind of start growing this confidence and you feel like, okay, I can exhale and take a deep breath. We are good. If LSU wasn't talented, I'd be very worried. Right. But the fact that I know that they're talented, the fact that I know they have, they're capable of winning these games. I'm not so, I'm not super concerned about it. I think that, you know, this weekend when you play a team like you are with Arkansas, it's number one in the country. It's supposed to beat you. Sometimes that can be a rallying and cry. Sometimes you go there and you say, all right, we're going to kind of figure this thing out. We're going to win this game. And we're going to win this series and we're going to get back on track. And look, you go ahead and you win this series. You're two and four right now in conference. You win the series and then you're four and five, right? And now you're right in the mix. There's only two teams in SEC that are five and one. Arkansas is one. Kentucky's the other. I don't believe Kentucky's going to continue that streak. So everybody is kind of mixed right in that middle. And if you go and you beat Arkansas and you become four and five and Arkansas becomes five and three or six and three, you're only two games back, so it's not that big of a deal. It's so early in the season. You have 24 games left, and I think the team is in a position where, you know what, yeah, you do have to win, and you have to start playing better, but you're putting yourself in a position where, hey, I'm playing against a really good team. Let's rally around this, and let's really start getting this thing rolling. 